the night sky holds a lot of magic for me and that thought of thinking about the darkness that hides in between the stars and what's in it. When we look into the darkness of the universe, we look into the darkness of the sky. I can think back as a child how my interest in astronomy and physics began. And this was an event where I lay on my back and crawled underneath my father's Christmas tree and looked through the branches of the tree and saw all the multitude of multicoloured lights. And of course, as an adult, I look back and I think, well, through the exploration of light, it has helped us understand the nature of the universe. The observatory is located in the Keel Water and Forest Park in one of the most unspoiled, beautiful, underpopulated regions in the whole of the United Kingdom. It's an incredible sight when I step outside of the observatory and all I can see is hillsides and snow-covered tops of the hills. It's a beautiful sight. The concept behind the design was one of a ship sailing out of the hillside into the, into the universe. There are no windows in the Keel Observatory. The only time or only place you can look out of it is by looking through the instruments and out of the apertures of the observatories themselves and into the universe. This particular region needed the observatory because it's under the UK's darkest skies. We have unheralded view of the nighttime sky with zero light pollution whatsoever, so it allows us to see the universe in all its beauty. The 20 inch pulsar telescope that we have in the bottom observatory, um, this is the largest aperture instrument we have and it has a nice wide field of view so it can gather the light and see some of the largest structures in the universe at some extreme distances. My true passion and what drives me to come to the observatory every day is just knowing that the people, the visitors who have came have engaged not so much with me or the observatory but it's just introduced them, it's a platform to launch their imagination into the universe. The driving force for me at the Keeled Observer is of course that this is my brainchild. It's like it's like a son or a daughter, it's like the very being of me is this observatory. It's been the result of a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, tears, quite literally to get where we are. But in my opinion, we're just the story's just begun.